In this video, I'm going to teach you how to find the multiples of a number less than 100. So let's say for example we have 2 and we want to know the multiples of 2. So to know the multiples of a number, we are going to add the number by itself. So for example we have 2 and then we're going to add 2. Plus 2, 4. 4 plus 2 is 6. 6 plus 2 is 8, 8 plus 2 10, 10 plus 2 is 12, 12 plus 2 14, 14 plus 2 16, and 16 plus 2 18, and so on. So there are actually infinitely uh, many number of multiples of a number. So we will just end up to 18 because we don't have enough space and we still have some other examples. So another example, we have 5 and we want to know the multiples of 5. So to do that, we'll just keep on adding 5 on the number 5. So 5 plus 5 is 10. 10 plus 5, 15. 15 plus 5, 20. 20 plus 5, 25. 25 plus 5, 30. 30 plus 5, 35. And 35 plus 5 is 40. For 25, we add 25 to 25, or we add a number by itself to know the multiples of the number. So 25 plus 25 is 50, 50 plus 25 is 75, 75 plus 25 is 100, 100 plus 25 is 125, and 150, and so on. So those are the multiples of 25. Then for 30, we add 30 to get multiples of 30. So 30 plus 30 is 60, plus 30 is 90, plus 30 is 120, plus 30 will be 150, plus 30 is 180, and plus 30 is 210. Last or 50 so to get the multiples of 50 we will add we will keep on adding 50 so 50 plus 50 is 100 plus 50 is 150 plus 50 is 200 plus 50 is 250 plus 50 is 300 and so on and so on, and so on with when you keep on adding 50 you will keep on getting a multiple of 50 so that's how you get the multiples of a number Now what if it's like this? Which of the following of which of the given numbers below is a multiple of 36? So we have these numbers. And our task is to know if it's a multiple of 36. Now it's going to be long if you're going to list all the multiples of 36 so that you will know that these numbers are multiples of that number. So there is an easier way to do that aside for listing all the multiples because it takes time we keep on adding 36 as it gets bigger and bigger numbers it's gonna be harder and harder to add with 36 so to know if the number is, is a multiple of 36 you will divide the number by 36 so if it's divisible that means there's no remainder then it is a multiple of 36 so let's start so we're going to start with 504 divided by 36. So we cannot divide 5 by 36. It's, on, it's smaller than 36. So let's use the whole two digits. 50 divided by 36 is 1. 1 times 36 is 36. And let's subtract. The difference is 14. Bring down 4. Then divide 144 divided by 36 is 4 because 4 times 36 is 144 then subtract so the difference will be exactly 0 so that means 504 is a multiple of 36 how about 766 so let's divide so it will be 2 because 2 times 36 is 72 then subtract the difference is 4 bring down 6 46 divided by 36 will be 1 because 1 times 36 is 36 subtract 
And so we have a remainder 10. That means 766 is not a multiple of 36. Next, let's try to check 900. So 900 divided by 36. So we're going to start with a 90. 90 divided by 36 will be 2 because 2 times 36 is 72. We cannot use 3 because 3 times 36 will be 108 and it's going to be more than 90. So the closest is 72. Then subtract. So the difference will be 18. Bring down 0. And 180 divided by 36, it will be 5. Because 5 times 36 is 180. So it's exactly the same, then the difference will be 0. So this means 900 is a multiple of 36. Now how about 1226 divided by 36? So we cannot divide 1 by 36, of course, smaller than 36. Same as well with 12 if you're gonna use two digits. And then we're gonna use three digits. 122 divided by 36. It will be 3. Because 3 times 36 is 108. Then let's subtract. The difference will be 14. And bring down 6. So we'll divide 146 divided by 36. It will be 4. Because 4 times 36 is 144. Then subtract. So the difference will be 2. So we have a remainder 2. This means 1226 is not a multiple of 36. Now let's try to check 1620. So let's divide. So we can use 3 digits so that it's possible to divide with 36. 162 divided by 36 is 4 because 4 times 36 is 144. Then subtract, so the difference is 18, and bring down 0. So 180 divided by 36 is 5. 5 times 36, 180. So this is equal to 0, so there's no remainder. This means 1620 is a multiple of 36. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have learned from this video. Please support my channel by pressing the subscribe button and also write the math topics you want to learn in the comment section.